Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you know the difference between fast and slow carbs? In this video, I'll share the types of carbs, fast and slow carbs, fast carbs and the glycemic index, and slow carb food calories. Refined carbohydrates have been associated with obesity and type 2 diabetes for decades. The primary refined carbs are white wheat flour and sugar. Today, many fad diets limit or ban minimally processed carbs, claiming they also contribute to obesity and diet-related chronic diseases. The three types of carbs are sugars, starches, and fiber. Those three types are further subdivided into subcategories. Most diets limit or ban the saccharides. Carbs come from plant foods. They include fruit, vegetables, grains, legumes, beans, nuts, and seeds. Natural plant foods are not 100% carbs. Natural plant foods provide sugar, starch, and fiber, plus fat, protein, vitamins, minerals, and hundreds of phytochemicals. Processing, like refining wheat, removes some healthy nutrients and increases carb absorption. Ultra-processing converts natural foods, like whole grain wheat, into high-calorie, low-nutrition, easily digested foods. The most condemned refined carb is sugar. There are two sources of dietary sugar, added and natural. Unlike apples, apple pies do not grow on trees. Apples and other fruit have no added sugar. Even so-called natural sugars, like honey and maple syrup, are added to sweeten foods and beverages. Added sugars have little or no fiber, protein, and phytochemicals. One cup of honey has over a thousand calories, less than a gram of fiber, and only one gram of protein. Compared to honey, vilified high-carb bananas have hundreds of healthy chemical compounds. Contrary to popular belief, diets high in sweet fruits decreases, not increases, the risk of diabetes. Gram for gram, a banana has a fraction of the calories of honey and a fraction of the carbohydrates. It provides about half a gram of fiber, two versus 17 grams of sugar, about two and a half grams of starch, and two-tenths of a gram of protein. Like most plant foods, the problem is not in its natural form, but with the form they take when converted into unhealthy, high-calorie, fast-carb foods. Sugars and starch are condemned as fast carbs. Fast carbs are quickly absorbed in the upper part of the small intestine. Hormones signaling fullness are made in the lower part of the small intestine. It takes 20 to 45 minutes for your brain to signal you to stop eating. It doesn't take 20 minutes to eat thousands of fast-carb calories. Obesogenic American diets provide about 1,000 fast-carb calories daily. Another 500 calories come from fats and oil in fast-carb foods. If your body needs 1,800 to 2,400 calories a day to maintain a healthy weight, your body does not need 1,500 fast-carb calories a day. The U.S. has no shortage of highly processed fast-carb foods and beverages, and Americans love them. In addition to fast carbs, highly processed foods have hundreds of synthetic chemical additives. For most people, the problem is not fast-carb foods, but the ratio of fast carbs to slow carbs. Slow carbs are minimally processed plant foods, 
with most of their fiber and nutrients intact. Slow carb foods make it to the lower part of the small intestine. Most people associate healthy slow carb foods with fiber rich vegetables and high starch white potatoes with fast carbs. The type of starch determines how quickly it's absorbed. Resistant starch in cold potato salad and other foods acts like fiber and is not absorbed in the upper small intestine. Starches are long chains of glucose molecules and glucose is blood sugar. The small intestine and pancreas produce enzymes that convert starch to glucose. A 5 ounce russet potato has 27 grams of starch. 5 ounces of fried potatoes has 55 grams of starch. More starch equals more glucose. More blood glucose requires more insulin. High fast carb diets can overwhelm the pancreas's ability to make insulin. Several viewers have commented that high-carb white potatoes should be banned from all diets. One viewer commented, white potato starch becomes sugar. Except for resistant starch, all starchy foods become sugar. Even very low-carb diets allow about 50 grams of carbs a day. Healthy individuals obtaining 50% of their calories from carbs can consume 200 to 300 grams a day. That's why high starch foods like potatoes are banned on low carb diets and account for a fraction of the carbs for healthy individuals. Fast carb foods are demonized for causing appetite stimulating blood sugar spikes. For some viewers, bananas and potatoes are evil high glycemic index foods. Are white potatoes, bananas, pasta, and wheat bread high GI foods? The glycemic index was created to aid type 1 diabetics control their blood sugar and amount of insulin. High GI foods are rated 70 and higher. Refined white flour carbs are absorbed more rapidly than whole grain carbs. A sugar's GI depends on the type of sugar. Granulated sugar and high fructose corn syrup are about 50% glucose and 50% fructose. The GI of glucose is 100. Fructose is condemned as an evil sugar carb and yet it's marketed as low GI. The GI of fructose is 10. Pasta is condemned as a high GI starchy food. According to glycemicindex.com, al dente pasta has a low to medium GI of 50 to 60. The pasta's GI decreases by adding low GI vegetables and meat. Some viewers firmly believe bananas are a high-carb, high-GI food. Are bananas a low, medium, or high-glycemic index food? A ripe banana's average GI is low at 52. Like most fruit, a banana's GI increases as it ripens. While millions of people eat raw bananas without other foods, most people do not snack or eat raw potatoes. The GI range of cooked russet potatoes is high at 80 to 111. Like pasta, a potato's GI decreases when combined with low GI ingredients. Unfortunately, GI applies to individual foods, not combinations. While the potato's glycemic index is high at 95, the remaining ingredients are all very low GI. A large serving of fried potatoes is high GI and has about 500 calories. This 17-ounce sample meal is low GI and has about 500 calories. Contrary to popular belief, the GI for fried sweet potatoes is about the same as white potatoes. 
Here's another quiz. Are sweet potatoes a low, medium, or high GI food? If you answered high, you're correct. A sweet potato's GI ranges from 73 to 84. While lower than white potatoes, sweet potatoes are not a low GI food. Does that mean you should ban sweet potatoes from your diet? Of course not. Sweet potatoes are a good source of fiber and vitamin A. A balanced diet allows you to enjoy most foods in moderation. Diets banning foods are marketed to people who are overweight and have serious chronic health issues. People with a healthy profile do not need to cut calories, carbs, and foods from their diet. Low-calorie, slow-carb foods allows you to eat more food without gaining weight or feeling hungry. One pound of these slow-carb foods provides from 90 to 265 calories. One pound of apple pie has about 1,100 calories. The number of carbs per pound ranges from about 14 to 70. The 70 grams of carbs is not for one pair, but for one pound of pears. Not all slow-carb foods are low-calorie foods, High-fat nuts and seeds have over 2,000 calories per pound. A takeaway is, although nuts and seeds are healthy, slow-carb foods, eat them in moderation. And healthy diets are high in slow-carb foods and low in highly processed, fast-carb foods. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.